I thank all the other agencies of government, the police, the prosecution, and everybody who works with us, um, the probation, and all the members of the court user committee, the NCAJ, uh, for collaborating with the judiciary very well so that we can embrace this multi-door approach to the delivery of justice. Uh, because what this means is that we, all of us, are keen to promote access to alternative mechanisms of uh, justice beyond the courts. Statistics were given by Honorable Harika. That is only 21% who are able to come to the formal justice system. And therefore we are concerned what happens to the 79% who cannot access the formal justice system. And these approaches, these forums uh, we are launching today are aimed at ensuring that litigants have various options in redressing their social grievances. This is well anchored in the Constitution. It's also anchored in the UN Conventions on the Rights and Human Rights, and also the MDGs that we are operating as the UN. And therefore, we are grateful to our partners, uh, all of them. Every time I go to mention them, the UN, uh, the EU, the UNODC, the IDLO, ICJ, and uh, um, FAHO, I forget some. So I like to say all our partners, we celebrate you uh, for realizing that uh, judiciary is a key partner to work with uh, to ensure that we promote the rule of law, constitutionalism, the MDGs, and we bring dignity to our people. I consider NJS uh, beneficial because it is the way we bring justice closer to the people, like everybody has seen, and hand, it's also more affordable. In fact, we charge no fees in the small claims courts. It is easier. Everybody has talked about the problems we encounter where we live or where we work. It is also a form of restorative uh, justice. Your Excellency, the governor, you have mentioned the families, especially succession, which is very close and dear to my heart. And we've been talking even with the principal judge, the, the, our principal judge, to see how we can have um, a service week in every court, including NJS, including court and next mediation, all the forums that we have dissolve family disputes. Because why would we tie the inheritance of the family in the court for years on end? A father died, a uncle died, a mother died. Children cannot even go to school because the letter of administration has not been issued, the estate has not been distributed, because the brothers and sisters have not agreed on how to share the property. Who are they to agree? The law is there. The law says the property be shared equally. So why are they quarreling? They are quarreling because one wants to take advantage of the others, and indeed one is taking advantage of the other. The message we are sending today because of NJS, no one is going to take advantage of the other. They are going to sit and we are going to share that property. It is not our sharing, it's the law sharing, because it's written in the law how it should be shared. And therefore, we do not want to have those cases in court. The message we are sending clearly is we do not want to see those cases in court. We want to close them.